In order to be more helpful to management, this unfavorable direct labor variance of $3 would be broken down into further detail to see whether the unfavorable variance was caused by overpaying the workers on an hourly basis, a rate variance, or by the workers using too much time to produce each unit, efficiency variance, or a combination of unfavorable and favorable variances that simply net to $3 as in the example provided. Once management determines what type of variance occurred, it will then dig deeper to determine the causes of both the unfavorable and the favorable variances. And if the cause needs to be fixed, they will develop a plan to fix it. Some likely causes of an unfavorable rate variance could be a tight labor market which drove up hourly rates, poor hiring procedures resulting in the hiring and paying for overqualified workers, incorrect data entry of the workers' hourly rates. Some likely causes of favorable efficiency variances could be quick workers or workers who skip steps in the production process, etc. Watch out, if the company has favorable efficiency variances because production steps were skipped, there will likely be unfavorable materials variances due to improperly finished products needing to be thrown away or reworked. At any rate, management uses cost variance analysis reports to help it improve a company's operations and thereby assist it in achieving the company's objectives. Please don't worry if you don't know how to create and analyze a variance analysis report at this time. I simply use this report as one example of the many managerial accounting reports that exist.